Okay. Show, does it show my lovely addiction thing? Is it? It's a, what is it? It's a it's electric. a fake cigarette. It's, yes. it's electric. Yeah. Do well, you have to charge it. Yeah, that's a battery. That's the battery. That's the cigarette. Oh wow. And that helps you with it's not smoking. Mm hmm. Ah, when did you start smoking? This is Liz. I am Sean. Hello. Anyhow, <laughs> introduction. So anyway, so when did you start smoking? When I was 15. 15 years old? Yes. And drinking. Why, why, why? Your, she, Liz here, uh, her nickname we're going to go by, Liz, she was born and raised in England, and then she came to America... In 1982. 1982, which makes her 41. You're such a sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say anything. I can't pay anyone. Anyway. <laughs> so anyway. you told me you were going to pay me for this. In hugs. Tens and hugs. tens of hugs. Okay, hugs are good. Hugs are. Hugs are very good. So what was I gonna say here? Um. So anyway, so. Right, let's just start over here. Okay. So like the grass is greener on the other side. I've always wanted to move over to England and France because I felt personally that it would be more fun and also educational and it would help me sharpen my skills and my talents. Liz, why did you move to America? Was it was it the same for you? Was the grass greener over here in your Absolutely eye? not. Oh. <laughs> I met this very charming American. Mm-hmm. As we all And learned. after two dates I came to America and married him. Ugh. You didn't know that, did you? I don't know it would be two dates. It was two times I saw him. What, what, what swept you off your feet about him? Because I heard that... Because he was charming. What's charming? Charming. Is it like yes, yes ma'am. No ma'am. Am I charming? You oh. don't yes ma'am me or no ma'am me. I pretty much, like, I go with it. Like, you, I don't... you make me giggle. Okay, well, that's, you know. That's what women want. To giggle. Really? I don't know what women want. <laughs> I know the gays want me to keep product in my hair. I solemnly swear to always and forever put product in my hair. And I didn't this time. And it shows, because the product isn't in your hair. It's all over the place. Very Justin Bieber wannabe. Yeah, if Justin Bieber oh, could not dance a circle jerk. like that. What? You don't like Justin no, Bieber? No, I don't. Oh, Why? God. As long as you love him, he'll be your boyfriend. No. No, thank you. I forgot how the song goes. <laughs> as long as you love him. <laughs> Platinum, he'll be your silver or gold. You won't be... I don't care. I don't care. He's not my scene. Oh. Good lord, I'm too old for that scene. Nonsense. Yeah, 41. Mm-hmm. So, anyway. So I'm you a Sinatra to... fan and Captain Sinatra. and Neil. Do you like... Bar you like... I'm... Let me think. Do you like Celine Dion, Barbara Streisand, Barbara Michael Streisand. Buble? Buble, not so much. Really? He's more but of that style. He's like a contemporary uh, jazz. Um, Streisand, I think, is fantastic. She's, uh, Sinatra. I don't know her songs. <laughs> Sinatra, I thought, was fantastic. Do you like... Whitney Ruba Houston. Who? Whitney Houston? Yes. You like Whitney Houston? Mm -hmm. I actually liked Whitney Houston. I thought she was really good. I was Carly waiting for Simon. her to come back. Hmm? These Carly are all before Simon. your time, you see. Carly Simon. Shania Twain? Yeah. Honey, I'm home and had a... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I hate twangy, twangy music. Twangy singing. Do you like, uh, do you, are you a Cher fan? Actually, I am. I like Cher. I think is pretty amazing. Okay. Um, what kind of American comedians do you like or know of that you think you kind of like? We have Joan Rivers, Kathy Griffin, um, Jim like Gaffigan. Kathy Griffin. You do? Yes, I do. I oh my god! Fan. <coughs> I think she's fantastic. She's no raw. Yes, I saw her live, no. and she was. Oh, you have? She was fantastic. Oh, I've never seen her live. I bet she's. Fantastic. She was really dirty. Like you see the TV version, uh, and then you see if you yeah. go online and you watch like a YouTube video of her act, it's mm -hmm. like really funny. I'll tell you after this. But Ooh, anyway, I like her. Awesome thing. But uh, and then I saw Joan Rivers live too, and she was she was pretty funny too. She was like an old older woman who had just like had it and done with it. She was really funny. Like so I hope to be kind of like. Well, and I saw Jim Gaffigan live too. Very different. All three different comedians. See, I'm a Monty Python song person. I don't understand the humor of my Oh my life. god, you don't? That's so sad. It is sad. I don't know. That is sad. I love Monty Python. Um, who else is there? America. 
he he moves. Well, let's move somewhere else. Foxworthy. Um, Foxworthy. Foxworthy. Jeff Foxworthy. Yes. He's twangy. Yes, but that's allowed. My he's not, dad. He's not singing. No one's supposed to know this, so don't tell anyone. My dad actually was like a little comedian for maybe a year or less. He did some stand up, and then he was he started in the same company or the same theater that Jeff Foxworthy was in mm-hmm. later on after he was or before dad. So mm-hmm. I thought that was really cool. And I even told my dad one time, I go, you could have been like a Jeff Foxworthy. You're, you're really funny. Mm-hmm. And then said he's a, 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 a good, renowned doctor. <laughs> so have you he heard, won either way. Have you heard of Mr. Bean? Yes. Okay. He is fantastic. But not as Mr. Bean. He's fantastic as a stand-up comedian. If ever you get the chance, it's <laughs> to him talking about, um, I think it's called, The Father of the Bride. Mm-hmm. That's what the, it's on YouTube. Um, honey Bar- Badger don't give a crap. <laughs> oh, I love Honey Badger, yes. Oh, honey Badger don't care. Yes, yes. Honey Badger, honey Badger don't give a shit. Oh. We're not allowed to swear, are we? swear, it's fine. It's fine. Oh dear, you'll edit that out, yeah, won't you? Yeah, it's fine. It'll be fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyways, so what do you thought, what do you thought, because, okay, so, you're, you really, you probably don't really care. So, which would you prefer, Obama or Mitt Romney? Or are you just kind of just like, I don't know. Well, as I can't you? vote, I, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. I don't, I don't hate Obama, and I don't... No, I don't think anyone hates anybody. I think people just disagree with morals. But yes, I mean, it's, it's, such I a, it's such a hot issue. The only thing I will say is that I do not like anybody that tries to put women back 50 years. Oh. I have very strong views about that. Oh, yeah. I don't care what you are. Um, and I think there's some rather frightening stuff going on uh, now that, um, I mean, I, I never had an abortion. I did have a point in my life where I would have had one if necessary. I was very lucky because it it wasn't necessary, yeah. but um, if I had been unable to have the option, have the option, I'd have been. It's the option that upsets me. Taking mm. that option away. Yeah, I feel like that's all. I mean, late-term abortion is obviously evil. Yeah, yeah, you can't but, do um, it. Yeah. Incestuous crap. and rape. And yeah, I feel like if other it's, things, it's I feel like if it's against your will as a woman, yeah. I feel like it should be your decision. If it's if you're like if you're a dumb blonde and you're like or you don't have to be blonde, you could be a dumb brunette, um, and you're like just casually going at it with your boyfriend or whatever, and then you just happen to get pregnant, I don't feel like that option is like I don't feel like you should have an option because you're the one that put yourself in that predicament. And then if it's like a married couple that can't provide for the child, then you know what? I think it'd be a really nice thing for some couples. To just go through with it and then give the child to someone who really wants a baby, you know, and it couple. Yes, I, I think that would be that. like a really mm-hmm. nice thing yeah. to do. Like, if you've done anything in your entire life, I think that would be it's really a, It's a very difficult, very, very difficult thing, but I think to take I away... I saw Juno, I know how hard... To take away the option is awful. No, I don't, yeah, I don't believe... I feel like it. God gave us the, you know, what's it called, free will, so that is an mm-hmm. option that we should decide on personally, and if you choose... Left or right, right or wrong, I feel like it, it should be your decision to choose the avenue. So, so let's see here. So you came from England, and talk to me a little bit about England, because I would like to go to England and study theater, possibly, potentially, or just oh, to I go. I think you should. Theater in England is fantastic. I'd imagine. I mean, I, I imagine. I'm sure it is here in New amazing. York or L.A. or San Francisco. I feel like it's just TV in L.A. I don't but, feel like it's really. Uh, I, 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 um, creativity. I have a friend in Gainesville at the university, and, and they do some wonderful shows, and I love going. I love going to watch amateur dramatics there. It, it's just so much fun. Um, and you should do it, as I said to you before. You would be really good. <laughs> I'm not that animated. So. <laughs> I made you laugh. Yeah. Um, okay, something else. You guys here do not realize the freedom that you have. Mm-hmm. The freedom, I haven't been, uh, I've lived here for 29 years, but there is more freedom here than in England. How do you, you mean? You have no idea. How do you mean? Uh, freedom to 
do what you want with what you own. In England, if you buy a piece of land, you cannot put whatever you want on it. You can't, you have to go through. It has to be built exactly to the specifications that the area says it has to be. Where here, you can buy a beautiful piece of land and put a round house on it, a house on stilts, whatever. But you cannot do that. They do anymore. that here. <laughs> yeah. You cannot cut trees down anymore. You cannot plow grass and fields because they've been grass for hundreds of years and it's law they say that way. There's a new law, well not that new, uh, the right to roam, where even if you own land, you can't stop people wandering all over it. Because that's the law, they're allowed to go pick and gather uh, blackberries and mushrooms and, well, strawberries. So they can just go out in your yard and... Yeah, and if you have a bull that mulls them, you get into trouble. The, the freedom here is amazing. There is a lot of freedom. Oh, that's a private property all up in your grill. That's right. <laughs> like, get off. Yeah, there isn't the freedom in England that there is here. Huh, well, I live in a condo, so I don't have a lawn. You probably don't want freedom, do you? Oh, well, I mean, like, here's what I want. Is I understand where America is going. And do I, you? I, personally. Um, let's not go too deep. But anyways, I I want to go deep. I want to know where you think America's going. I feel like America is slowly becoming uh, a box-minded country, and I feel like we're kind of reverting, because we're such a young country, and it's such a rich country, yeah. that I feel like we're kind of, uh, ever since 9-11, it was, I think it was either a wake-up call for 9-11, what happened, and I think that also when we had our, you know, our first African-American president, which is, it is a big deal to have, you know, an Afri I feel like we've come a very long way, and then also with Sarah Palin being nominated as a, you know, assistant president, or vice president, I feel like that shows America has grown a lot too, because that's like a woman having the responsibility of the vice president. I don't know what all those responsibilities are for vice president, but anyhow. So, um, so I feel like we've matured a lot when it comes to like not loving one another, but kind of understanding and also having like a common respect. How about that? Versus, you know, I don't think that we are in the South right now. So I know that there are definitely some, uh, I want to say, Bible Belt-minded people without you know stepping on anyone's toes. But again, they probably don't watch this. Oh, they have. They don't probably have the time. But I feel like uh, we might. We have more of a a grip on what's out there versus like what we need to control. But I feel like people want to control everything now, and uh, and have you know. You didn't answer the question that got it? me all excited, which is where you thought America was oh. going. I'm intrigued. Or Travis, you can come over and hang out if you want. He needs help. Um, I really want to hear what you where I, you think America's going. I feel like America is going. <laughs> I said it was like more like into a box-minded individuals, and I don't feel like we're one nation under God anymore. I feel like Where's we're your phone? Separate, separate people. Oh. You know. think everybody's out for themselves instead of the... Yeah. I feel like... And you think that's the way it's going? I feel like that's the way... I don't feel like that's what it should be. You I don't? Think, I don't think so. I think we should be, you know, like a... Not, you know, one big happy family, but, you know, not not world peace, maybe nation peace. But I don't think so. Anyway, Interesting. I would not have thought of it. I'd have heard you say that. What did you think I was going to say? America's stupid, and I don't like taxes. No, and no, 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 no. I, I, I think that we've all got away from looking after each other. Yeah. Um, and everybody's now running scared and out for themselves. Yeah. So I'm interested to hear you say that you think maybe I misunderstood what you said. I probably will watch the tape, but no. That's why I kind of feel like it'd be nice to like go to England and like learn and kind of see the culture and stuff like that. Because you know I don't have any attachments here other than a car payment. Don't ever get one of those. I and have me. one. And me, you did say you were going to marry me. Yes, let's go. We're gonna go. I'll, yeah. Elope. We're going to elope. Ah, uh, eloping. We're gonna gather nuts and berries on the countryside. <laughs> while nuts we and roll berries, it. yes, gathering. Gathering. Yes, we could live in a little log cabin that you're going to build. And have pea soup. <laughs> and have pea and ham soup. And what, what's the coffee like there? Because I am a coffee. They don't drink coffee. We do drink coffee. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> what, you have to, what you have to acquire a taste for is good curry. Oh, curry. Yeah, no, curry. lots oh, of curry. Lots of curry. Lots. I mean, my favorite lots. meal is roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. But England now is ruled by curry. 
everybody eats curry. Curry, like curry pork, curry chicken, chicken. curry beef. Curry. I think I've had... You've never had curry? You never curry? had... It's an Indian cuisine. Indian. Oh, yeah. I've had that. Yeah. But it's incredibly healthy, too. Except it makes you smell. If you eat too much yes. curry. Mm -hmm. Is it like the stuff that, like, the green vegetable that you eat and when you pee, it smells? The asparagus? Yes. It yeah, it's like, it's like any, like, if you eat too much garlic, you start, like, smelling like garlic. Like, if you sweat a lot and you eat a lot of garlic, like, you will start to reek like garlic. Do you see how many minutes we're at? You are at 15.35. If you eat enough curry, you will need a new elastic for your ass. And probably a new hot. Underwear it will burn. Yes. Well, hot sauce gives me the ring of fire. Well, curry will give you a ring of fire. Because they, they can make it spicy. Yeah, actually. It, I, it's I almost like Thai food. Like, yeah. you can get it mild see, or um, spicy. What's that? Like, we have movie theaters here. Like, what kind of movies do you guys show? Is it all American? Or it's like Shakespeare. Like, yeah, lots of America. So lots uh, of America. It's, all, it's all open plays. <laughs> it's all plays? It's all like Shakespeare. They don't have projectors and stuff. <laughs> well, I no, told we probably do still have projectors <laughs> yeah. sitting in the back of That's the theater. That's true. I told you, it's all, you go over to England and it's just like Harry Potter. <laughs> Why? Sit over here and tell me about it. But I'm laying down. I've never There's been. I've just hung out with English people. Flying around on broomsticks. Yeah, playing and Quidditch. Stonehenge. And Stonehenge you have to go to. I want, next year, next June, I was invited to go to Ireland. Mm -hmm. Ireland's very beautiful too. I think I want to go. And go. also, in this January, I'm going to visit my cousin Travis in Canada. Well, well he lives in Washington, but I'm going to go to Canada. We're going to go. We're going to have a drink. So, I mean, <laughs> we're going to read them. In Canada, I think you have to eat. Syrup. Who? Syrup. Well, no, no, here too. Syrup here is good. But no, what's that cheesy gravy they put on the Oh, uh, Celine Dion. No, it's, uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boding. Boding. Oh, no, that's not No, that's it's... Pooling or... It's... It's... Oh, how are you Poutine? Poutine. 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 Because Boding, Boding is like something Cajun. <laughs> Poutine is Poutine. french fries and gravy with yes. cheese. Cheese on it. On oh, it. I, did, I did have that actually you up did. in BC. Uh, it was... It probably wasn't the best because we ordered it like a, a Red Robin. Red uh, Robin. But uh, mm -hmm. it was weird. Oh, but we did have way. we did have a bunch of Canadian beers and everything that we stole mm -hmm. cups from places. I am a yeah. thief. <laughs> you know, like a liar. <laughs> like a liar. You know, like a like a crime. And then we stabbed Steve. <laughs> and then Steve freaking stabbed somebody. So anyways, back to you. Uh, yes, darling. I wondered how long it would take to get back to me. Uh, sorry. Travis walked in the room and he's like... Travis, like, said, no, I, I, with man hair. Yeah, you know, like I, that's why I'm not on film, because I I have my 70s chest hair coming out. Dude, a child would get lost in that dark yeah. forest. Harry Potter is Well, I would, around. you know, you know, we... Let's get back to Liz. So, Liz, what do you think of Travis's chest hair? I hadn't noticed it until he just pulled so, it out. It is a carpet. It needs braiding. Yeah, yeah it <laughs> needs wash. It needs braiding. Um... So anyways, let's see here. So let's see, let's see. So, okay, so what do you think? What do you think here? So we talk about America. Did we talk about me? What did you, you talk, talk about, about politics something? in America and everything? No, we shouldn't really care too much about that. We, we, no, we no, sort a of ton. blazed by it. Right. Glossy, glossy last now. Yes. Maybe wrong, you know. Maybe they bought. Bip, bip. So. Chip or ribbon, right? Anyway, so let's see here. So you have, uh, was it a marmalade or some type of thing? I love marmalade. Is good. Marmite, Travis loves. Is that the stuff that, that why are you, it's I don't brown. think he likes it because he's doing this. I gave it to Travis when he was, you gave it to me on I was toast toast five years this. old. You ever have Vegemite? No. Well, Vegemite's a copy of Marmite. Yeah. Marmite and Vegemite are almost. Yeah, it's, a, it's a yeast product. It's very strong. Marmite it and Vegemite like are, million cubes. they're loaded with nutrition. Like Absolutely. nutrient, like vitamins and everything. It's like Nutella, but not. Vegemite Nutella. vitamins. Now I like Nutella. Nutella tastes yes. good. Yes. My friend Ariel was in Italy, and she said that none of the food there had taste. She's like, and it was all like their McDonald's. They're like everything came from their like ground, and so like of course their beef was like mm -hmm. delicious. I have people that watch this. Show. I went to. I went Why to. Why do you think American beef is so tender? Because it's all crap. I don't think Thank it's you. like... 
Yeah. They, they, the drugs they give them. Yeah. Nothing I went against to, us. I went to McDonald's in Martinique, and the menu was, like, cut in half of what you can order here. Like, you know you can get chicken strips and all that mm-hmm. here, and, like, it's got salads. Mm-hmm. You had, like, five things to order from McDonald's in Martinique. It was a double cheeseburger, chicken nuggets, like, fries, and a barbecue, bur- a barbecue burger. So. Now, food here in America is amazing. No. Not the way it's cooked, but you have... Fried. <laughs> uh, you know, I worked at... Um, you have access to so much good stuff. I worked at really, a really steakhouse called Lone Star or Longhorn. Long. I don't know which one. Longhorn. Longhorn. Was it Longhorn yeah. I worked at? Logan's? No, no. It was probably Longhorn. Longhorn is a steakhouse. Longhorn. It's North Carolina. <laughs> Anyways, you know what they would do is a uh, customer, or not a customer, but if the cook cut the, the steak too small. Was then... it where you could throw peanuts on the floor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was Logan's. Mm. Oh, I swear it wasn't. It was fancy. It was long. Whatever. You can do it on your own. You can do it on your own. Whatever. So, um, so the restaurant I worked at, if the cook cut the, cut the meat like too small, like this size, then what they would uh-huh. do is they would end up like cutting that up into little chunks and they call it like beef tips or beef, beef bites. Beef tips, yes. Some type of, like, they would like, it's like nuggets of steak mm-hmm. and like that was like so like if they messed up they recycle what they did but they didn't like you know nothing was wrong with it they just cut it too small and i learned from the cooks that you know a lot a lot of american cooks do drugs and sell it so when you go to a restaurant don't go to uh once you, I, I can't say any names but before we get sued but like i worked at bob evans in the beach house on the island and there was some drug deals going down so. Well, I don't know anything about drugs, so I'm boring. You don't know anything? I don't, like, no, I have some I have friends no that do drugs, and I absolutely This is it. an addiction enough for me. Well, sweet tea is my addiction. Sweet tea and coffee. Oh, coffee, I And negativity and humor. I don't think you're negative. Well, I mean, have you seen my act or anything? I had some grandma jokes. You want to hear them? Grandma or grandma? Grandma. Like, grandma. I had, I had a grandmother who uh, smoked all the time, and she, she, did, she did quit. Um, but she quit too late, and she had been smoking since she was like thirteen or seventeen mm-hmm. or whatever. And uh, and so of course, you know, growing up, you know, that's all she ever, not all she ever did. She also had um, an alcohol uh, addiction too. So it's kind of a set. Really. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just kind of just <clears throat> bashing you. Anyways, whatever. So of course, I'm like not sensitive, but she I'm doesn't like, have an addiction. I'm like leery. I'm not. She, like, she just enjoys a drink no, no. or two. Grandma could throw them back. That's where I get it from. I mean, that's where I pray from. Whatever. Anyway, so I'm like super sensitive to just like smoking and drugs just in general. So I feel like I feel like you shouldn't like hurt yourself. I feel like I don't know. It's, I don't know. I feel like if you can't if you can't marry someone and love them and you have to cheat on them, then why would you get married to this person? Travis, talk about it. If you had someone. That, you no, know, you want to talk about. It. Talk right. about what marriage. If, you know, I feel like some kids get married and then they, I like... I could have sworn we were just talking about drugs and alcohol. Well, it's kind of like, you know... <laughs> it's gone really quickly. Oh, okay. So, marriage, yes. I believe if... Marriage, you, you're with that person. And there's no such thing as cheating. No. No. If you cheat, you deserve to be hung. That's just me. Yeah. I'd go for that. I was told... I can't, I can't stand it. Honestly. People that cheat. That's... Yeah. And I'll end right there. Hung. Yeah. My ex uh, girlfriend Lisa Fur um, cheated on me when I was when I was seeing her. So Lisa Fur, yeah, she's she's looking up at us and smiling. That joke is uh, brought to you by negativity. <laughs> so anyways, uh, now let's see here. What are your thoughts on? So okay, I'll be. Oh, this isn't this. It, that isn't this isn't in this video yet. So, so I play the violin, and you want me to play hymnals. What kind of hymnals did you have in mind? I played for my uncle's uh, funeral, and it inspired everyone to ask me for a record. It and was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I want you to play the Kremen, okay. which for those who, knew, who are into more classical stuff would know what that is. Mm. It's, a, it's a version of the 23rd Psalm. I want you to play Eternal Father Strong to Save, because I was raised on that. In England, we have another verse, which isn't available here, but because we do it for all of our services, Navy, Army. If you can get a hold of it, I'll play it. I've got it. Oh, the well, tune is in the hymn, hymn well, not. Well, here's the book. Um, and I can't remember the others. I've, I, I've, I've marked off four for you. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I want them played with a break so that when I die, some idiot can push the right button, because I want them played at my funeral. 
Well, here. yeah, there comes a time when you have to plan this shit. True. True. And I want Rod Stewart screaming out hot legs as everybody comes in I, the church. I don't know if hot, hot, Rod, we're going to be able to get Rod Stewart, <laughs> but uh, we can get you his like CD. You don't like Rod Stewart, do you? God, I love him. We are sailing. Don't you like sailing? Sailor Jerry? Have you heard Rod Stewart? Oh, I love Sailor Jerry. Yeah, now, yeah. Sailor Jerry. This oh. is Sailor See, I didn't get a Sailor Jerry, so I don't get to enjoy him. Uh, but you Ro haven't heard Rod Stewart doing probably. sailing? I probably have, but uh, I can't when I say it. I was a little girl, my daddy was in the Navy. In the Navy. And um, we lived in Portsmouth, which is where all the his ships went. Oh, out. Portsmouth. And. All along the beachfront, as the sh ships went out, there would be Rod Stewart doing sailing. So it has huge memories for me as a little kid. So I'll have Rod Stewart. But you don't have to do that. I'll have Rod Stewart do that. <laughs> this is a horse's hoof. Yes. And then that is what? Or it could be a donkey's hoof. Actually, it's a mule's, I think. Why do you have a mule's hoof? Well, uh, do you know what it is? You could put your weed in there. Do you know what Love that is? Hoof. Yeah, what? Lucky? No, it's, what is it? It's a hoof. No, what it's is it? It's decaying. No, it's not. It's, it's very well preserved. It's beautifully done. Holds your tobacco, right? I don't know. What do you think that is? Do you know what that is? Oh. I'm serious. I don't think you do. I don't. I have an answer. Do you know? Is it a flask? No. It's an inkwell. Ah. Oh. And the Man, I was way off. Yeah. And I'm these used to be, spit. And do you know what her name was? What? Queenie written on the toe clip. Just... I'm going to do that to my mom. I'm going to have her foot made into an inkwell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like, do you know what her name was? It was Debbie. <laughs> she was my mother. <laughs> you, you stood across the toe clip. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh. Well, I'm going to go throw up now. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I have my own table reserved in hell. When I get to hell, it's just going to be me doing this. Oh my god, hi, hi, hey, what's going on? How are you doing? Oh. Uncle Randy? No. Anyways, no. I love my Uncle Randy. No one can touch me like him. Hang on, who's Uncle Ray? Randy. 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 Well, that's a very good name for someone that's touching you. <laughs> it was a joke. It's a joke, oh. you know, really. It's a joke. <laughs> Molestation negativity brought to you by negativity. <laughs> so, so let's see here. So, is there anything else you want to talk about? Is there any other things that's inspired you or that you think? So, you think I should do the what? Very important thing: American wine. American what? So bad? Good. It is. Yes. You Americans are so dumb. You make the best, some of the best wine in the world, but you would rather go and pay fifty dollars for a a bottle of crappy German or crappy French wine when here in America you've got some of the best vine vineyards in the world. I just, yeah. I believe it. That's one of my pet that, peeves. I, I only drink rum. Well, I drink a well, lot of Well, I love Sailor Jerry. That's Sailor the... Jerry is, is very good. I actually it was very surprised that I liked Sailor Jerry. I really like Jameson. Like, I didn't think I liked I have Jameson. And Bushmills, yeah. Jameson. Well, if you're going to Ireland, then you better get a taste for it, because... You'll be... I'm going with the church group. Uh, so? Oh, I... Are they Baptists? No. What? Uh, in, interdenominational? It's, uh, it's not a denominational. So it's like... So you can get drunk. Oh, you, you'll be good. You'll be good. Oh, you can't mm. play the violin like a while. Yeah, you can. Uh, you played it hungover the other day. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> This Wait video will come out six weeks from now. <laughs> <laughs> really? Six weeks from now? Yeah. And then Damn. Playing the fiddle. I have the show all lined up. Huh? The Irish bars that they, they play the fiddle in there or the violin, whatever. But uh, that's good fun. I used to get so ticked off when people would say I play the fiddle. I'm like, that's the violin. Violin, classically trained. And then... Get over it. I had to. Otherwise, well, whatever. I don't care. Travis, how many minutes are we at now? Stand by. Uh, low battery, but we're at 29.42. We're out of time now. Oh, we'll be done. We'll be wrapping it up now. Well, anyhow, so, uh, for more information on Liz, there is none. Um, also, for more information on Travis, you can't, uh, buy my new single, Trans Victim. Uh, it's been out for four months. Actually, it's been out 
for five months now this, when this video comes out. You know what the recent single is? It's called Tell Me Better Lies. Tell Me Better Lies Tell me better or lies. Bitter Lies? Better. bitter. bitter. I, I wish you learned to speak English. See, that is another little... Who, me? We are speaking English. Tell me better. We're speaking you proper English. A pen, a pen. We call it pen a pen. I call it pen. You call it a pen, but some people call it a, a pen. pen. They don't sound there. Give me a pen. I have more of a re non-regional talk. Actually, you do. You do. I have more. I've like been told I don't have an accent. You don't. You have a. No, you talk to your bad. teeth. You talk to your teeth, and I mumble. <laughs> talk to my I'm teeth. I'm like blah blah blah. He's like, what did you say after that? I talk like this. Yeah. No. no, he lies to you. Oh, I knew it. We're, no, I was in the car all day with you today. You and to you. I don't the lie. six hour drive to here, we were talking and I remember specifically thinking, well, good thing I'm right next to him. Anyway, uh, okay, so we have good wine uh, and we mumble. Oh, wait, we don't mumble. We don't know how to talk um, English. We don't know how to talk um, English. And then. Uh, proper English. Proper English. But you shouldn't be ashamed of your local dialects either because they're fabulous. Do I mean, the I the local like, one around here isn't that well, bad. The it's... local one around here is a bit racisty. Really? No, I don't think this one. I don't think this town. The town in the back road coming to this town a little bit weird. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're a little bit of... Ooh. Yes. Well, that's fine. Sorry. Oh, sorry. The, the Sunnies we went to, you know, they didn't take too kindly to us. The Sunnies, they're like... I okay. actually, I ordered a... I, Where was it? Where uh, in Jessup. We pulled oh, up. Jessup, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know that area. Well. We we pulled up into Jessup and we went into the Sunnies and me and him he ordered his food and I ordered I got to order mine. I was like, "Can I get the uh oh, you can eat pork and uh I was thrown off by the like how many mm -hmm. sides you can have. I was I ordered like um, four nugget. different sides. I was like, "Can I get the salad as a side?" And she was like, "No, you can't get the salad bar, but you can get the toss salad." And I was I There you go. Yeah, I'll just take this one. Yeah. <laughs> When I first came to America, I went to Odom, Georgia, which is 10 miles north-ish of Jessup. It was nothing like I expected. What did you think of that? Well, I thought of America as high-rise buildings. There was a caution light, a railroad line. All the little houses had... I mean, it was beautiful. Um... Screen porches, people sitting on them. Smoking. Okay. One store, uh, they grew tobacco, they had a slaughterhouse. Nobody drank except for me and my father-in-law, who, thank God, did drink. He and I had one each night. Um, and everybody went to bed at 9 o'clock. <laughs> I couldn't get used to there being no like social stuff. I've never asked you before, but what brought you to America? We've been through that. You have been through that crap. We did, so I have to watch the video. All right, I will. Well, she uh, she she met uh, a charming American man. Who was charming? Jay. Had two dates. Yes, ma'am. No. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Two dates, and then flew over here and got hitched. Yes. Two dates. I, looked. I saw him twice. What was Jay doing over there? Yeah, you guys probably already talked about no, this. No, we haven't. No. Okay. We haven't. My cousin won a scholarship to the University of Georgia. And Jay was attending University of Georgia, Good doing engineering or something, and they became roommates. And mm -hmm. every year they switched holidays. In fact, they used to tour France and Europe on a motorbike every summer. Oh my gosh. And that's how I met him. And he was lovely. Yeah, okay, I'll fork over that money. Okay. <laughs> but you do not cuss at customs in England. No. They, they came back and they had the panniers on the bike full of wine. They were crossing from France to Dover, yeah. and it was raining, and the customs guy said to Jay, uh, take your helmet off, and he said something like, oh shit, and my cousin Simon said, oh my god, they could have stripped the bike apart, yeah. and just left it, our customs are nasty, well yours are here too, they're nasty, yeah, they're a little yeah. Bit. Cool. but France, yeah, go, I mean, you, you can hitchhike all over France, how do you hitchhike? Oh, well, I'm too... Hire a car. I'm too pretty for that. Hire a little... <laughs> you are too pretty. You'd get waylaid. You probably wouldn't get... I don't, want, I don't want to hitchhike. I'm too, uh, I'm too pretty hire too. Hire a little um, Fiat. A little tiny Fiat car. They're cheap to run. A Yaris. How, what mileage do you get on the Yaris? Like 30 something. Like a million. No way near enough. <laughs> like no, we, enough. we made it. On the highway? On one tank? Yeah. Pretty much on one tank. If we... 
I love the Toyota Prius. Oh my god, I love that thing. The new one is fantastic. Yeah, I like my Toyota Tacoma. Well, yes. <laughs> if I had an absolute range, I'd have a, Taco a, a Toyota, um, the next one up. The Tundra. Tundra. Oh. Uh, those are nice. Oh, I've got big two trucks. friends that have them. They, they tow, they pull. Yeah. People will get out of your way. Yeah. They're not that big. They're just so nice. They're, they are nice. They are nice. And I like Toyotas. So let's get gossipy and serious. What do we don't, what don't we like? Well, what about Prince Charles? What do you think about Prince Charles? I thought back in the day he was, like, really attractive like me, and all of a sudden he just went downhill. I don't know what happened. Prince Charles, they just got married to what's-her-face? That was Prince William. Well, whatever. Whatever. Her name is... She was hot. She's pretty hot. You made a mistake there. Prince Charles has never been attractive. No, I don't know which one. He was talking, talking about, about William. Prince William. William, William and the Red Yeah. William is lovely. Have you met him? Uh, no, I've met Prince Charles, but not William. You've met the Queen of England, too. Yes, I have. You've met the Queen of England, we just now get to that? We're, we're gonna go another 90 minutes. Let's go. Let's yeah, you should probably, you should throw your phone on the charger, so once this one well, dies. This is battery is gone. My dad it's was chaplain with the Queen, so we got invited to all the, uh, garden parties and stuff like that. What's it was garden? wonderful. Party Literally, in a garden. They open up the grounds at Buckingham Palace, and you have... Shrimp volivants and champagne and just wonderful. See, I want to go to England. But go. you can't go there. Why? Because they only allow foreign no. dignitaries, not... What's a dignitary? Well, someone who, uh... Like a governor or Yes, uh, yes. I have to make offers over there? Because once I married Jay, I was not allowed to go. That's if I hadn't... Time. Yeah, once I married him, because he was American, I wasn't allowed to go. Well, you know what? They're allowed in my house. Well, no, I love the royal family. I'm very royalist. Love them. I think they do a fantastic job. What Prince Charles, I feel very sorry for. He should have married Camilla 35 years ago when he first played with her. What do you think about Princess Diana? She's gone. She's gone? She was... I think it was very sad. And I, I, I am cross with the royal family about that. You think they'd have learned with um, the one who married that awful American woman. Um, but they he got chucked out and they went to Paris. And then um, Princess Margaret wanted to marry an American and the family stopped her. And she led a very unhappy life. And then Prince Charles came along, wanted to marry Camilla, whose father was... Um, I believe he was master of the horse at Buckingham Palace, which is a very good position, but not royalty. What is master of the horse? He was in charge of all the equerry. He was the Queen's equerry, uh, in charge of all the horses. And, um... Is that where you learned it from? No. He... Charles was allowed to practice on Camilla, but not marry her. She wasn't considered to be marrying material. Practice? Whatever. And uh, he had to marry somebody <laughs> that uh, was at least presentable. And the only one that was... I'm not on camera. I can do that. ...was um, poor old Diana, who was a little bit unstable, um, had a lovely mother, a god-awful stepmother, who was Barbara Cartman, I believe American, um, absolutely awful. And she was, she was put into a horrible position. Hmm. And then he stupidly went and went back to Camilla. Hmm. But I honestly think the nation has, I think they're forgiven because they finally got together. They worked very hard. I hope to God he's never king. Hmm. And I think that is a lot of the, after what happened, a lot of people feel like that. What happened if he was king? We don't want him as king. Why not? Be because he's been a naughty boy. Do you want William to be king? Yes. What happens when they're king? Like, what, are the, what is their, what do they, what do they oversee, what do they do? Everything. It's, uh, I mean, it's, uh, Prince Charles is the next in line. I, I, I firmly f believe, and I think a lot of people do, that he needs to just say, I'm not going to do it. And Prince William should go ahead. The, the lass he's married is lovely. I mean, she's absolutely lovely. How come the Queen of England, what happened to the Queen of England's husband? 
I've never heard about him. Prince Philip, he's just about hanging on at the moment. He's very ill. Oh, so she still is married? Yeah, oh god, yes. How can they talk about her and never him? Because he's a consort, he's not king. What's a consort? He married her. She he's... was born yes. into the... Yeah. That's why she's a queen and he's just a prince. It, he, she's the bloodline. Oh. In fact, you really need his dad here because our royal family now is all German. <laughs> Lots of German. We're really, really German. And... Um, but no, uh, Prince William, I think, will make a... He and... Uh, and what would his wife's name be? Prince William's? I think it's like Kate. 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 Yeah, Kate. She's yeah, because there were like nude photos of her or something on the yeah, internet. Yeah, well, who cares? She's lovely. Yeah. Well, they were on like a nude beach and some reporter was like... Uh, a French reporter. It happened when I was down on the UK shoot. Actually, they were on a balcony. It was somewhere. In a private house... And it was a French reporter. And it was a reporter from... France. A mile. Got a picture of her topless, which I think mm-hmm. is... Hell, I mean, ridiculous. I don't want to see uh, William topless, I don't... Oh, I think William topless. Oh, I like William. Oh, he's he's tall and lean. I like skinny men. Sorry, guys. Huh? Minutes are at. What? Uh, nine... Yeah, nine twenty. Like, so so we've talked about, um, talked a little bit about Travis from behind the camera. Travis is wonderful. Travis is fantastic. I, I am she pretty, is going to do great things. I am pretty awesome. How? Like, I would like to meet the girl of Travis's dreams. I would like to meet when the time comes. Yes. When the time comes, I have to have potential misses. Brought forth for inspection on Travis because he's too good. <laughs> he's, I don't want to slap someone around. No, I mess with I know. And it's got to be somebody really worth. Mm. Mm. Oh, really good. I know. I'm going to go up there. Um, I plan, I'm planning on going up in January with my. Well, uh, has he found one yet? Not really. Oh, no. I don't know. We don't know. We're well, we find... don't know, do we? Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring. Uh, apparently, everyone thinks I'm going to marry Ariel, who is about six or seven videos is away. Is Ariel a fairy? Ariel is a girl. She's a mermaid. A She's a woman. Mermaid. She's about mermaid? 23. Okay. Mermaid. With a talking, like with a, with a talking crab. She's oh, 20 what? Always younger, older, the same. How old is she? She's 23. So what I'll do is uh, I'll convince Ariel, Ariel, this is your invitation, um, to come up with me to... Uh, to uh, For the inspection? Washington, wherever Travis Washington. Is, Washington. And then uh, we're going to have like a little trip to uh, Canada, Bill. So, I mean, and then also, well, and Ariel's an excellent. Canada. Trip. You mean Canada. Canada. So. Canada. So, Canada. so we're going to go, and then uh, and then Ariel and I, hopefully by that time, um, we'll be married in January. Well, when you go to England. says we should get married, Ariel. When you go to England, you have to visit my family. When you go to Australia. Oh, I'll do it. You have to visit Ariel's my family. Ariel's mother is when in Australia right now. When you go to Japan, right you have to visit my family. Been there. I've never been to Japan. I flew through. You flew through. <laughs> hey, okay. I had to step foot on the ground. I was like, wee! <laughs> wee! <laughs> so when, um, well, yeah, I'll just, whenever I magically go to England, I hear it's like $1,000 to fly over there. Not, no, uh, no, 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 no. no. Oh. If you fly now, October, November, very, very cheap flights. How much? 500 round trip. That's not bad. That isn't bad. But that, round trip? What? Round trip from... Washington to here is about the same. Yes, it's the same, well, same distance. Yeah, but out of Orlando, where you've got trips going all the time, mm-hmm. it's easy. Really, I know in Tampa International Airport is where I'm my stomping ground. Oh, Do you not like Tampa? Actually, I have a very dear friend in Tampa. I don't like Tampa. I don't like I don't Miami. I've had to perform there a few times. I didn't like it. Don't like Miami. I love everyone in Tampa. Buy my CDs. Buy my CDs. <laughs> I need to make rent. Let's see here, well, so. I guess that's it. We dried up. Mm. So we talked about political. We talked about um, my hair. Um, we talked and about and your lack of product. My lack of products. Lack of product in your I'm hair. I'm supposed to. There's like some gay guys, and they're really upset at me. You told them. They're like, I did tell you. Yeah. Oh, that they were like, your hair needs more product. You need to put something in your hair like semen. Oh, I have to put that out. Like who? Nothing. Like uh, the stuff that yeah, I put in my... I, 
I put stuff in my hair. I put like a clay base thing in. Uh-huh. Clay Aiken? Clay Aiken. Clay Aiken. Clay Aiken. And uh, it's not like gel. It's it's like a mold, and you can restyle it any time throughout the day. It's crazy. My barber got me onto it, and she was really cool. Mine got me on uh, the silver can of hairspray, the bed head or whatever. Big hair? Some, no, not sexy. Hers. Big hair. Sexy, sexy like, big hair. It's the only thing that keeps this thing in check or whatever. Well, what's it supposed, where's it supposed to be? It's Combed supposed over. to be like this, up into the right. It's a, I want like a big, huge, like Darren Chris from Glee Clump comb over type of thing. Not comb over, but like up and bop. Up and bop. This goes like on top. Well, you've nearly, nearly got there. Nearly. Right out. Nearly. What Cheers. What do you think of Scotland Yard and Sherlock Holmes? Wait, that's the same. Wait, she, pro- she probably hasn't one. seen the new one. The new one doesn't with Johnny, we were with Robert Downey Jr. Mm. I like person of interest. What's that? Oh, he's he's nice. Well, here, why don't we all get some Sailor Jerry, you included, people on the other side of the camera, and we'll just go to the hot tub. You won't get me in the hot tub. Okay, that's no, awesome. I'll just go in the knickers. Oh, I always keep my knickers on. Well, I'm just saying, oh. My knickers do not come off. <laughs> so. Alright, so, yeah. Did you hear about the time we went into your parents' pool in Jacksonville? No, probably not. I was Is the this only one. camera? I was the only one that kept my knickers off. And that's where that goes back to. We climbed the back fence to get into their yard. Because you admit they'd moved out here. Yeah. And we were all... Oh, I did hear about this. I did hear about and this. I kept my knickers on. Uh, and everyone thought it was so funny that I'm not taking my knickers off. I'll go topless anywhere, I don't care, but my knickers are not coming off. I always end up naked after a drink. Thank you so much for watching the show, everybody. It's been wonderful. And to keep up with Absolutely Liz, you can. To keep up with Travis, you can. And to keep up with me, go to seanrousko.com. Later.